Hello, and welcome to another episode of Around the Block Talk, marketing advice that works. I'm your host, Los, and today's episode is dedicated to making meetings meaningful again. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of meetings, but I do love discovery sessions, consultations with clients, and also getting together on kickoff meetings for starting new projects. And you know, this episode reminds me of all the meetings from hell that I've had. Let's go ahead and talk about the five things that are gonna help make meetings meaningful again for you. For a very brief time after social distancing and quarantine began, there was hope. Hope that without being at the office, long meetings would be replaced by the emails they should have been in the first place. But then someone said, hey, let's do a Zoom conference. And with those words, bosses everywhere crushed their employees' dreams. If you're like me, you don't mind working with your colleagues. In fact, collaborating with your team is pretty darn important. But all the meetings would start out focused on fixing problems, but turn into a person's two hour long soapbox rally those meetings are soul-sucking, energy-draining wastes of time which would be better spent fixing the problems and actually doing work. What if I told you there was a way to make your team excited about meetings? It may not happen overnight. It may take a couple of meetings before your team even notices. But here are the steps that our team has put in place to get more out of meetings. Number one, have an agenda. Going into a meeting blind is a good way to make sure that your discussion goes off the rails. Even if you don't share what you are wanting to go over with everyone up front, having a list of topics you need to cover along with a set time to get off the call will keep your meaningful exchange from turning into one of those endless ramblings about your one team member's health crisis or their essential oil side business. Oh, rub them together. Oh, okay. Ooh, that is nice. Number two. Follow up emails. You know the doors to the meeting rooms often have the supernatural powers that wipe the memories clean of half the people that walk through them. At least it could seem that way. You can eliminate the memory loss by sending a follow up email with the highlights of the meeting shortly after the meeting. You can also use this email to expand on any points with additional thoughts. And you can make sure that the guy who is always late will know exactly what he missed. Thanks everyone for coming to the meeting today. Hey, I'm gonna send out the highlight points of uh, what we talked about. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> Next, start a group chat. Keeping the lines of communication open between meetings will keep your meetings focused and efficient. A group chat system is a great way to stay connected with your team members. Allowing them to ask questions and brainstorming digitally is amazing because your team can focus on the topics they need to respond to. Next, use collaborative documents. If you want your team to be on the same page, give them the same document. It's even better if they're all looking at the exact same digital page in a program like Google Docs or Notion. In these documents, your team can comment, edit, and view the exact same content. And if you're lost, you could even see where someone else is at by where their cursor is at. Hey Dan, uh, wh where are you? Ah, okay, let me just click on that. Ah, there you are. And last, have fun. Nothing is more depressing than a meeting that is all work without a little bit of fun. Embracing a little bit of humor, as long as it's fitting and appropriate, will keep your team engaged. And with working from home, your team's attention span is constantly being pulled on by their kids, their dogs, the TV, and the guy who decided to mow his lawn right after you started your call. In conclusion, it is possible for your team to enjoy meetings again. But the meetings have to be meaningful and enjoyable. Your mandatory collaborative sessions have an important purpose in your daily operations, but they shouldn't make your team want to go and throw themselves out of the nearest window. No, Dan, don't do it. Don't do it. Since implementing these five strategies, we've been able to have meaningful meetings again. If you enjoyed this video and found value in it, give it a like and share it. If you're on our Facebook page, give that a like as well, or subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get marketing advice that works. I'm your host, Los. And I'll see you on the next episode of Around the Block Talk, marketing advice that works.